All right, so I made a brush lettering of this A, and I scanned it in and opened it in Photoshop. Now, if I want to create a vector of this, since this is a scan, you can see that it's got like the jagged edges and the brush painterly look, and sometimes I like that. And after I do the vector, I can show you how I keep that. But just vectorizing it, I press P and it takes me to the pen tool or it's over here on the left and there's if you hold down there are some other options but I just use the basic pen tool and I first start out with it as a shape no stroke and I'll make that color the fill now I bump down over here the opacity once I make my shape. Okay, here. I'll start over here. So, I've started making my shape. And you'll see it'll start to, like, overlap, and you can't see what you're doing. So that's why I bumped down the opacity so I can see through it. Um, the pen tool, you just have to practice with it. It takes time to learn how to get it to do what you want. But click and hold it and while you're holding it you can you know move it to create all kinds of curves and then right here if I hold down I'm on a Mac so if I hold down my option key it creates that little carrot and that if I didn't do that it would go like this and it would automatically make a curve that it feels is appropriate but I don't want it to do that I have you know something different I'm trying to do so that carrot gets rid of that one side so I can make it a straight edge or you know whatever I want it to be. Now this isn't going to be totally perfect or anything, but You get the idea. Oops. I'm working in um, CS6, but it really doesn't matter what version you have the program, you know, does not make the designer. That's all you and your talent. You can use CS2, CS3, and make just as good a work as anyone else on CS6 or CS5. Okay, so now you, oh, I turned the opacity up, I'm going to turn it back down, but you can see that I need to get this negative space, so I go up here and I change it to a path, it's just a row. There you go. Now it is a digital vector, great for printing, it's got clean edges, I can make it, you can see, I can shrink it way down, and then I can make it really big, and it's not pixelated, it maintains its integrity, so that's that. Now, I like the look of like the brush lettering over top of a photo so I don't want it as a vector and if you want to do that what I do 
and I'll show you with this, is I use the image, and I don't use the pen tool, but I'll create a layer mask, and it's that button down there, and I do this as opposed to like just erasing the background, because if I make a mistake, like if I'm, you know, head down, and then all of a sudden I like accidentally go like that, I don't have to control Z and go back and, you know, whatever. I can just press X. You see, I'm using black to hide. And if I go, if it changes to white, then I can, you know, make it show up again. It's more forgiving. That's what I like about it. So I, I'll just like use your brush tool, B or over here and I just like super zoom in use a small brush to go around the edge So there, it's all, it's kind of all painted out. Now what I'll do is I'll overlay it with a color. And to edit the mask, you just click back over here. So it still has that like painted, it's not perfect like the vector, like this down here, I like that. You can see like the brush strokes and sometimes that's what I want, sometimes it's not. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I do for that. Here's a quick showcase of writing with a tablet. I know some people have been curious about that. I find the tablet just mostly helpful for short painterly strokes like what I was doing with this, um, like super zoomed in. But here is trying to write with it. It's not bad. It's definitely not as precise as using a pen and paper. I feel like I can't do exactly what I want to do or make it as perfect as I want. Um, and a lot of people who use it for writing, it's more of the stuff like this, like the dot com part where it's like it looks handwritten. And if that's what you want, then yeah, I say go for it. But if you're looking for something a little bit more perfect like especially with calligraphy I definitely wouldn't recommend it for something like that like that looks nothing like what I would be able to do on paper so yeah uh, this is my first video so I'm sorry if it's awkward or too fast or too slow or whatever um, if you have any questions you can email me you can go to my website right there um, and send me a message or, you know, comment on anything and I'd love
love to hear feedback about the video because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>